Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the week of August 31st. This week, you have a great week. Definitely. Really positive week. Really good stuff coming in. You have the uh, Six of Clubs coming in first, which is a very positive card. It brings in a lot of positivity, but it's, it's a card that literally means success. That's pretty much its only meaning, as I always say. It just means being successful this week at whatever, you know, whatever that means. You know, it doesn't you know, when I say success, it doesn't necessarily mean money. It can, if that's what you need in your life, but it can also mean love, if that's what you need in your life, or, you know, one of many other, you know, they're one of many other things that this card can mean, because look, you know, there's six clubs on here, so for a lot of you, it could mean success in a bunch of different ways. It's a card that brings a lot of growth, and, you know, you know a lot of stuff growing in your life it makes a lot of sense. Like, I, I think I said this in the September video, Virgo, opposite of Pisces, both signs, even though they're opposites, have really been working on what they want their day to day to look like and really have been focusing on what they want their entire life to look like. So this is definitely growth in those areas and, and starting to see those, what you want your life to look like, actually like manifesting and growing in your life. So I think this week is a good kickoff point for that. And it, I think you'll start to see things coming in. And especially because you have this card, the Eight of Hearts, which is an incredibly positive card. It does indicate just like being emotionally fulfilled and happy this week, but it also it's like a gift from the universe. It's like good stuff coming in. And it's something, you know, I always say traditionally, it's not read this way, but definitely from, you know, what I've observed and, and how I feel about the card, it's definitely like you know, something that you have, it's almost like you have earned this, you, you have done something in your life to earn the gifts that are going to be coming into you. And, um, you know, whether it be being generous with somebody or helping people out or whatever, doesn't matter. But, um, you know, just know that you have earned these gifts that are coming in and it would be, you know, a lot of good stuff. When this card comes up, I also always tell people to make sure to work extra hard this week because this card, it rewards hard work. The harder you work, the more just the more good stuff is going to come back to you. So it's like, you know, make sure to take advantage of that and bust your butt this week make the extra money, make the extra whatever. If you don't have a job, work extra hard. If you don't have a relationship, work extra hard to get that relationship because again, this card, whatever you're trying to work towards, that card will bring it in faster if you work harder. You have the Joker coming in next, which is a great card, one of my favorite cards to get. And uh, it represents juggling things kind of literally and um, you know, being able to handle juggling a lot as I said, I think you will be working hard this week in all of September. I think I said that in your monthlies. And this card represents being able to do that, being able to juggle multiple projects, being able to at work or in business and being able to juggle multiple businesses or multiple jobs even, plus a family, plus everything else, and have it not be difficult for you. He's very good at juggling. That's the thing about the Joker. So think about this card and just think about the fact that you can, you know, really kind of move around this week and really get a lot done because of this card. So, uh, you know, very positive card, great card, and kind of like a great superpower to have for the week. And uh, next you have the King of Clubs. King of Clubs is an interesting card because he is a card, he doesn't really use his intuition. He only trusts tools that he's gathered from the past is, is kind of what the meaning of the card is. So it's like this week when you're trying to work through the week and you're, you know, you're trying to, you know, overcome any obstacles or trying to um, achieve whatever it is you're going to achieve, just know that you should that you have already probably encountered a lot of the situations in the past. A lot of them will be coming back to you, and you already know how to either solve the problem. And, and a problem isn't the right word to say because some of these things aren't problems. They're just like just general, regular situations of life, and you know nothing bad. They could be very positive, could be negative, could be just neutral. Um, and this is with everything. And it just says you already know how to handle it because you've already done it. So use those past experiences, and you will be successful this week. So thank you, Virgo. I think you're gonna have a great week, especially with that uh, six. That's a really positive card that brings in a lot of good stuff, and the eight as well. So you know, um, definitely enjoy it.